It's almost 36 past the hour, which is the natural time I say to transition to talk about uh, flying cars uh, for a few minutes. As um, this is actually a true story, cars could soon be soaring to new heights, and this is video of uh, the prototype a company is working on. The FAA is giving an aircraft company called Terfugia the green light to test out their flying car prototypes. Now, here to tell us more about this is our friend Gary Gastelo, FoxNews.com automotive editor. This is, um, I mean, we could joke around about it, but is it practical? Have you seen anything about this that uh, makes you believe that uh, we'll be flying around like George Jetson one day in our cars? I don't know about you and I, but there's some people out there that are going to be able to buy one of these someday, you know, quarter million dollars, half a million dollars each. Look, that one we just saw, is, that's their first model. It's called the Transition, kind of an airplane, foldable wings. The idea is that it's street legal, so you can drive it to the airport, right. take off, fly where you're going, land on the other end. Now they have a new one, the TFX, which is a tilt rotor aircraft that has vertical taking off and landing capabilities. That's the one they're going to start testing a model of pretty soon. Uh, that opens it up a little more because now you can take off from your backyard, land in the parking lot at work, uh, and there's definitely a market for that. A lot of people, a lot of high net worth individuals already take helicopters to work or drive a quarter million dollar car to work and sit in traffic for three hours. So if you bring those two worlds together, make it a little more efficient, a little more convenient, you know, there's certainly a market for this in some years, but we're not talking about next year. Oh, there's people watching us now and saying, oh, the traffic on the LIE is building up. Uh, you know, if I'm going to get out to East Hampton on a, on a Friday in the summer, I'll just fly uh, in did. my own car. So, but that other one I watched, it was pulling out of a driveway and then it was almost like a helicopter taking off, right? That was the, that's the other model you were talking about, the second one? It, yeah, uh, that's, the, that's the next generation version, the TFX. That's when it's really going to get interesting. Well, they got to regulate, uh, regulate this like crazy today, right? Today's the uh, day you're supposed to, for those of you, public service announcement, by the way, for those of you who haven't registered your drone, today's the day you're supposed to register your drone with the FAA. But um, I would think this will be just craziness of so having more, if, if people are flying around in, um, in their cars, uh, the FAA is going to have some work to do there too, right? Well, when there's a lot of them, you know, it's not going to be that many. The thing is, there's actually this growing uh, industry of sport light aircraft or light sport aircraft that's right. getting pretty big right now. And uh, you don't need a regular license for it. You can take a 20-hour test to get the license for it. You can fly it in an uncontrolled airspace. That's sort of where this falls into. Uh, you'll be able to get another license where you can take it into the controlled airspace as well. Uh, but the idea is to have this sort of flying around the margins and above the traffic and making things better for everybody who owns one. Well, it's like a lot of things. When we, years and years ago, when it was just NASA and people said, well, there's going to be private space exploration. And as we talked about tonight, there'll be another launch. People said, well, oh, come on, the government has to do that. And, uh, in, and even years before that, the fact that there'd be any space exploration at all was considered crazy. S what about the practicality of this? I mean, this is, you said, uh, maybe not you and I. So it's years and years away in terms of a timeline for something like this? Well, they're hoping to have that first one uh, uh, certified within two years. But the problem is, originally, they said it was going to be 2012, so it always seems to be yeah, two years out, away. Right? Uh, the other one, they're still talking about eight to 12 years away. Uh, but it's more about getting the vehicle certified than the rules governing how it flies. So uh, once they can get it working, they can get them in the air, they could start selling and delivering them. Yeah, you got to get it working right. It's like self-driving cars. You don't want to be, uh, and that's been the issue there, too. You don't want this thing malfunctioning when you're flying around uh, with the family. All right, Gary, good to see you. Have a good one, Gary. Castle, appreciate it, Jerry.